I'm gonna do a voiceover for the first part of this video, and I'm back home in Colorado right now, and this was all filmed last week, so this is basically my trip to California. But as you guys saw in the beginning of this video, I made a huge shake, and I've basically been trying to drink all of my calories because I have like zero appetite, and I'm trying to eat four to five thousand calories a day. So what I'll normally do for breakfast is my two packets of oatmeal, and that'll take me like 10 to 20 minutes to finish. But when I make a shake, I can put three packets of oatmeal, all this other stuff, so it's just way more calories. And I'll literally down it in five seconds and be done. And what I normally have is the all chocolate Costco muffins, and those things are like 700 calories a piece. So I'll even put one to two of those in a shake, and that's just an extra 1500 calories right there. So you basically just have to find cheat codes to get your calories in. But when I'm traveling, everything goes to shit my eating my training my sleep which is just super unfortunate because i'm skiing all day i'm training for a competition i'm like waking up early mornings and going to the gym after that it's just so brutal and i'm turning 20 on january 18th so i want to max out right before then while i'm still a teen because that's like the last time my lifts are going to be any bit impressive so i'm basically prepping to max out right now so i want everything to be perfectly on point but yeah, when I'm skiing and traveling, it was just super shitty that I had to go away for a week. But I went to LA for a day before I went to Mammoth. Mammoth is like five hours north of LA. So I literally got off my flight, came straight to the gym. I was only off running off like five hours of sleep, like sat on a plane for a few hours, which sucked. And my knee has been hurting a ton lately. I think it's just from skiing, deadlifting, and squatting heavy. But yeah, my left knee hurts a ton when I bend it all the way and extend it all the way and it was just swollen up a little bit. So I was trying to squat the best I can but not go too hard because I didn't want to injure myself or have my knee be too fucked up for skiing all week in Mammoth. But yeah, you guys can see my knee caves in a little bit once I start going heavier here. And I had a top set of two on squats. I ended up doing 335 for my top set of two, and then I had a 3x3 three three right after. But my squat is extremely bent forward because I'm squatting low bar, so you're obviously going to be a lot more bent forward when you're squatting low bar. But my femurs are just extremely fucking long, like it's actually crazy. And so my butt's going to be so much further back, and I'm going to be way more bent forward than somebody with a shorter femur. And you guys can see right here, my left knee just is caving in a little bit, but it's not too bad. So, yeah, I didn't do any leg accessories after this because I didn't want to go into Mammoth Super Sore, like I was saying. So I ended up just doing some pull-ups and hitting some biceps, just kind of fucking around a little bit. But yeah, here's me doing my 3x3. Three three. I just dropped to 275, went super light, and kept it super chill. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this workout. And I was hyped. I was able to squat at Barbell Brigade because this gym's so sick for squatting. There's just a ton of squat racks and it's just a sick vibe in here. But it is a little bit cold, which is shitty for getting a pump. So it's definitely more of a powerlifting gym. But yeah, it was pretty sick.
know is just brutally weak right now. It's literally taking like 30 fucking pounds off my bench. I don't even know why. When you're benching, you want your knees below your hips. And for someone super tall like me, you're just gonna be launching your glutes up. And this bench is like a millimeter off the fucking ground. So my knees are so much higher than my hips. It's just like such a shitty like leg drive. Everything just sucks. Shitty ass bench. I'm supposed to be doing flat bench today, but since I'm traveling and stuff, like I know my strength's gonna be extremely weak and I wasn't planning on working out today. So I'm just gonna do like, I'm doing incline bench, focus on like bringing up weak points like my upper chest stuff, instead of just going like full strength training because I just know I'm gonna be extremely weak. Yeah, so basically when I got to LA, my ski bag and my bag of clothes didn't make it. And luckily I had my gym bag as carry-on because we went straight to um, straight to Barbell Brigade. So I had my squat shoes, belt, all that stuff, which was sick. And basically United said they'd get my bags to me by one in the morning. And I was like, all right, sweet. Then I can go to Mammoth the day I was planning on going and I'd be able to practice the next day. So. I wake up in the morning and my bags just aren't there. Like I stayed up till one, I didn't get a phone call or anything. So I was like, oh, they are probably just running late. So yeah, I, I woke up, my bags just weren't there. So I was like, what the fuck? And you literally can't call them because the wait time is just like five hours. Like we just stayed on the phone for hours and hours and nobody would pick up. And yeah, I finally like emailed somebody and they were trying to get my bag sent. They're like, oh yeah, it'll be there by like 6.30. And I was like, okay, I need to drive to Mammoth today. I need my skis and stuff. And it's like a five hour drive from LA. So we just waited around all day and my bags literally just never came. So we were just like, what the fuck do I even do? And then we were just trying to call people all day, but they ended up coming the night after. And I wasn't gonna be able to make the first day of practice, but it ended up being so windy here and it was just such shit weather. They ended up canceling the first day of practice. So I got all my stuff, I drove here, I didn't miss any practice days. And then I finally got to practice today in Mammoth. And the course is pretty sick, it's running pretty nice. So we have tomorrow as an off day and then I compete. So hopefully everything goes well. But yeah, that was just like such a shit show with my bags, but we got everything in check now. And yeah. About to go home, eat some food, trying to keep the calories up. Just been slamming chocolate milk. I got this like dozen of donuts. And yeah. I'm about to pull 475 for a double. And this is my first time using a stiff bar in a very fucking long time. Like literally, I don't even know, six months. And I haven't deadlifted heavy because after my 545, I like tweaked my lower back. I've been having like lower back palms. So this is the heaviest I've gone since then. And I skied all day. We had our first World Cup training day today. And then we're gonna have tomorrow off in the World Cup on like Friday or Saturday or something. So yeah, let's see if we can hold it. I'm gonna do a little voiceover for this part of the video as well because I didn't film a lot of talking or anything. I was just skiing all day and then going to the gym. But I'll tell you guys what happened on my runs. So I ended up getting a little loose on the rainbow rail and then I did a switched up 14 blunt on the last jump. I just grabbed it super late. So I got pretty docked for that and only got a 71. And then the second run I fell on the rail. And it just sucks because you can feel 100% practice can go super well. And you just have those two runs to put it down absolutely perfectly. And if you just mess up one little thing, it's just completely over. So it sucks to travel all that way just to fuck up. But I might be going to Europe this spring. Not 100% sure on what I'm doing yet. But yeah, I'm back home. Now time to get my training on point. And I'm maxing out in a few days. So hopefully I'm hitting some big numbers. Clean tonight. You can meet me on the other side. We're impatient like young gods. Through 
Andrew